Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the death animation and the end result will be as follows. When the player is hurt by the mushroom, the player has three health, so once the player has reached the end of its life, it falls off the screen and, and rotates and then the scene reloads. Let's see how it's done. Game Game Day Day Journey. 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 All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is add a new variable here to track whether the um, player is dead or not. So we'll call it dead and we'll set it to false. Now in the hit or hurt function, which I think is right at the bottom, what we should do is check if the health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, then we're going to call some kind of death function, which we will make next. So let's go ahead and make the death function somewhere near the top so we don't have to scroll too much. How about here? So let's go function death. And when we when the player dies, we'll set dead our variable at the top to true. We'll shoot the player up in the air, so we'll set velocity y equal to minus 600. And then we'll disable all the collisions so that the player can fall through the level. So we'll set collision mask value, and I think we've got three masks, so we'll set them all to false. And what we'll do is copy and paste. So mask one two and three all off um, then we want the player to go up in the air and also spin or rotate so what we can do is in the process function here we can check if the player is dead then we can call the rotate method and just rotate by a little bit Point one, because remember this process function is running multiple times per second. Now to reset the level we need some way of knowing if the player has left the screen. So if we go to the player over here, this is the character body, this is the actual thing that will leave the screen. So we should make uh, the node a child of the character body. So if we add a child we're going to look for this visible on screen notifier. We'll add that. And when it's selected, if you go to its signals, there's one called screen exited. So if we connect that signal right at the bottom here, when the signal is triggered that the player sprite has left the screen, we can reset the current scene. So we'll say get tree dot reload current scene. And of course you could do any other thing here, but this is what we're going to do now. And that should be it. That should be all we need to do to get that death effect as we want. So our variable here is so that we can rotate the player when they die because we do the check here if they're dead we rotate and then we have our hit function and when they've taken enough hits that they do not have any health anymore we call our death function and our death function which is here sets dead to true shoots them up in the air and disables all collisions so let's go ahead and test this. If we go to first level and we run it, when we, I've put another mushroom at the bottom just for easier testing. When we get hurt, we've got three health. So one, two, and three. And there we go, and reset. And that's how you do a simple player death function. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.